Hi guys, in this clip I want to talk to you about table saw blades or uh, saw blades that are used where the arbor is below the material. And it's very critical in, at this point to choose a saw blade that uh, won't throw the material back into your stomach. When you first took your first wood shop class, if you ever did, if you're close to my age, they used to have a video where a gentleman was cutting on a table saw and he had the wrong saw blade on and the drop off piece blew back into his stomach and actually went through him. His name was Lucky Williams. <laughs> but uh, we want to avoid that by using the proper safety equipment, anti-kickback devices, and definitely the right saw blade. But that's why I wanted to discuss uh, a positive hook saw blade. Uh, the positive hook saw blade, if you take your saw blade and lay it on your desk or lay it on your workbench and draw a line straight up and down through the saw blade, right down through the center of the arbor, and then you draw another line at the, the angle that the face of the tooth is at, if the tooth is leaning into the direction of rotation, that's a positive hook saw blade. That will hold the material down onto the table saw, not throwing it at your stomach. It'll shear the wood fibers better also because it's got something supporting it on both sides. It'll hold it down and will give you a really good shearing action. If the tooth on your saw blade leans away from the direction of rotation, that's a negative hook saw blade, and that will throw the material right at you. If you've ever used a negative hook saw blade uh, on a table saw, the material comes at you. Conversely, if you use a positive hook saw blade on a radial arm saw, what you would have experienced is the radial arm saw wants to run right at you. Uh, you gotta fight it to hold it back. And you really don't wanna do that you want to use the right saw blade on the right machine. So uh, right now we're going to come in close. This blade is a 30 degree positive hook saw blade. That is a, that's about as aggressive as you're going to go on normal saw blades. That would be a rip saw blade. What it does is the material is being supported by your saw right here by your table and the fibers are being pulled downwards. Can you see right here that this tooth wants to pull the material down so your machine is holding the saw for you. It's going to give you a beautiful cut. If it is a chip sensitive material, you're going to want your good side up. If you're cutting a laminated material, good one side, put your laminate up, you're going to get a beautiful cut on the top. It's going to give you a, a rougher cut on the bottom, but this is a coarse saw blade. But always have a positive hook saw blade on a table saw to avoid the material being thrown back at you.